Hi, I'm going to show you how to determine the absolute uncertainty and log values here. For example, we've got a table of data, we've got some vertical deflections here, measured in millimetres, and we've taken a log of those for some subsequent analysis. So we need to work out the log value for y, but we also need to state the absolute uncertainty. And you can see this upper value here is missing, we need to calculate that and the absolute uncertainty. These ones are given to us. So the general method is to take the upper value and log that. So we, we log, if I just do base 10 log here, we log the upper value of y. So I'm just going to write y u for the upper value. And then we subtract the log of the lower value. So what I mean by that is we're looking at our y value we're taking the upper value by adding the absolute uncertainty in y and then we are taking away the absolute uncertainty from y to get the lower value. So the upper value is 2.6 plus 0.2 and the lower value would be 2.6 minus 0.2. So those are our, that's like the range of uncertainty in the log value and then we need to divide that by 2 so we can say plus or minus this value. So if I call this plus or minus log y would be equal to log of the upper value minus the log of the lower value divided by two. Now, of course, if you remember log, log rules, sorry, if we have log A minus log B, then that's the same as log A over B. So you could do a little bit of a simplification here. It's not a huge simplification. So you could say that this expression then becomes log of Y upper over log y lower, no, sorry, over y lower, take the log of everything, and divide that by 2. That will give you the absolute uncertainty. So let's look at a couple of examples. The first one is this table here. So I'm going to take my y here. It's 2.6 plus or minus 0 0.2, as we already noted. So y upper is 2.8. Y lower is 2.4. So when I put this into my expression, uh, log y plus or minus the absolute uncertainty is going to be log of 2.8 divided by 2.4 divided by 2. So put that in. Divide by 2. So that, if I just write down what the actual value is, just so you can verify that it'd be over 2, which is 0 0.0334. Anyway, you, we don't need all the other points because absolute uncertainties are written to the first significant figure. So we can say that this is plus or minus 0 0.03. That's our absolute uncertainty. So to fill in the table here, you take the log of 2.6, write that value in here, and then it's plus or minus 0 0.03. Okay, so if I work that out, and log of 2.6, that's 0. Point, let's go into that, 0 0.42. So it's 0 0.41497. I need to round that up because I need to write it to the same, down to the same number of decimal places as the first significant figure of my absolute uncertainty, and it's plus or minus 0 0.03. And this is this pen is not writing well on here. Let's have another go at that. Plus or minus 0 0.03. Okay, so that's uh, using log base 10. Same thing will work for natural logs as well. So if I scroll down here, then we have some new set of data. Uh, so now we've got v is 3 plus or minus 0 0.2. So our upper value, you don't obviously have to write down everything, I'm just doing it for completeness, 3.2 and our lower value is 2.8. So the uncertainty in log v is equal to, bear in mind this is a natural log, so 3.2 over 2.8 divided by 2. 
divided by 2. And so when we do this, natural log of 3.2 times by 2.8 all over 2, that comes out as plus or minus 0 0.07 to one significant figure. So it's 0 0.0667 and so on. And if you were to verify this by actually doing the full calculation, which is log of the upper value minus the log of the lower value, you'll get exactly the same number, and then divide it by two, it's all the same. So that's how you work out the absolute uncertainty in log values, by working out the range, divide it by two, and I showed you a, a short simplification that you can do by using the second log rule, using that ratio.